Clinton nightmare, Uranium One informant has video of briefcases full of cash. Uranium One informant has video of briefcases full of cash. The Clintons may be finally on their way out of politics, but a growing scandal could drag them back into the public spotlight. Or behind bars. New evidence against them in the Uranium One corruption case could make the Watergate scandal look like a picnic. Did Bill and Hillary Clinton accept bribes and kickbacks from Russia in order to fast-track a uranium deal? Several well-respected investigative journalists say yes, and now there may be shocking video proof of the corruption. On Thursday, investigator John Solomon appeared on Hannity and claimed that an informant witnessed briefcases full of cash intended to be transferred between Russia and the Clintons. HE gathered so much information. There are videotapes where the Russians are opening up briefcases full of cash, these are the people that we then gave uranium to, that we then give nuclear fuel contracts to, Solomon explained. According to Reuters, that informant is William D. Campbell, a man who worked as a lobbyist for a Russian firm. If his evidence is solid, Bill and Hillary Clinton should be very worried. Campbell is scheduled to testify before Congress next week. I have worked with the Justice Department undercover for several of years, and documentation relating to Uranium One and political influence does exist and I have it," Campbell revealed. Those briefcases of cash may have been part of a larger money laundering and payoff scheme designed to put cash in the pockets of the Clintons and other officials in return for political favors to Russian firms. The bribery schemes included delivering thousands of dollars in yellow envelopes, laundering tens of thousands of dollars in briefcases or wiring thousands of dollars through shell companies through the Seychelles Islands, Latvia, Cyprus, and Switzerland, to name a few, explained Circa investigative reporter Sarah Carter. According to Solomon and Carter, get used to those names, because they may be the new Woodward and Bernstein. The informant named Campbell tried to warn the U.S. government that shady deals were happening. Instead of putting a stop to the deals, the Obama administration allowed them to continue, and may have even fast-tracked the transfer of uranium. Russian firm Rosatom wanted to take over Uranium One, which would effectively transfer control of 20% of American uranium to the former Soviet Union. For that to happen, a committee called CFIUS needed to sign off on the deal. And guess who were powerful members of that group? At the time of the Uranium One deal, the panel was chaired by then Treasury Secretary Timothy Geithner and included then Secretary of State Hillary Clinton and then Attorney General Eric Holder, reported Circa. Even though there was growing evidence of backroom deals and bribery, the Obama run Department of Justice dragged its feet until the questionable deal went, though. The Justice Department didn't move forward an indictment with prosecution of bribery by people tied to Rosatom, through subsidies and other entities, until 2014 after CFIUS approved the sale of Uranium One, explained Sarah Carter for Circa. This left, the American public without knowledge of the Russian company's allegedly illegal actives as it went to procure one-fifth of U.S. uranium supply. Briefcases full of Russian cash earmarked for the Clintons. A secretive committee paid off to approve a questionable deal. A significant amount of nuclear fuel transferred quietly to Putin's Russia. It reads like a Brad Thor novel, but a growing pile of evidence suggests that it is no fiction. If the allegations and supposed video evidence of this corruption are accurate, the next few weeks could lead to even more bombshells against the Clintons and their cronies. The witnesses against Bill and Hillary better hope their life insurance is paid up. Please help spread this important story, press share on Facebook now.